Hello, everybody. Adam Parks here with another episode of Five Minute Pitch. Today, I am here with Jeffrey Ragsdale with TransUnion, who's going to talk to us all about the scoring products that they have to help improve efficiencies and account selections and a whole bunch of other performance related items as it relates to the receivables management space. How are you doing today, Jeffrey? Awesome. Thank you for the opportunity, Adam. Absolutely. Well, you know how this particular series works. You have five minutes to tell everybody about TransUnion and the scoring products that you offer there. So we'll just kick it right off. Ready, set, go. Thank you for the opportunity. So if you were to ask me, Adam, why scoring, I would argue that scoring allows you to prioritize your accounts by the order of the consumer's ability to pay. Mm. So at TransUnion, let me bottom line it for you. At TransUnion, we'd expect the top 50% of scores to get you around 85 to 95% of all dollars, and the bottom 25% to get maybe have 2 to 3% of your dollars. So with that in mind and taking me at face value, you would sit there and say, okay, wait a minute. Why am I going to spend effort and resources on the bottom 25% with very low liquidation rates when you have, uh, when you have again, uh, concerns about uh, liability exposure, about letter costs, about all these other costs. So why pursue those and why not put more emphasis in your uh, accounts that do have the ability to pay? Everybody, when you think of TransUnion, everybody thinks of like the risk scoring, right? Mm -hmm. Which is, hey, you know, how likely Adam is to go delinquent or in the next 24 months? And the higher the score, the less likely you are to go delinquent. And that's what you use when you buy your car loans and your mortgages and things like that. TransUnion has put a tremendous amount of resources in identifying who has the ability to pay. Mm -hmm. So these accounts that have already gone delinquent, now who has the ability to pay? And if you think about why TransUnion, right? So why, what makes TransUnion the best in this space? I would argue it's, it's our business, right? If you think about the business model of TransUnion, we're getting data from all these different mm -hmm. providers, your bank card companies, your finance companies, your mortgage companies, your autos companies, all telling us a lot about you as, as a consumer. Mm -hmm. we, we take that data and we build it into thousands of attributes every, for every consumer. When we build our recovery scores, we got millions and millions of recovery accounts along with payments. We said, what attributes do the payers have in common? We weighted them according to predictability and we built them into our scores. And because we have this tremendous vision into the consumer, we can make just the scores that produce the most and, and are most predictive. So that's kind of why we have been so predictive with that. Now, what you can do with that again, is, is start to slope your efforts, right? So taking me at face value for a minute, 80, the top 50% getting you 85, 95% of your dollars. How are you going to capitalize on that? Are you going to call them more? Are you going to spend more on skip? Are you going to do some higher, maybe costly touch points, things like that, to, that help you to, you know, to collect more, right? You know, it, I, I love to fish and I always say, hey, fish where the fish are, right? So you know what? Cast your hook where the fish, the bigger fish are, so you can get more. Settlement strategies, things like that. So you know what? If you know that somebody has a lower ability to pay, why would you not uh, maybe take a little bit of a lower settlement just to get some from the people that don't have the ability to pay, and therefore, but ask more for the people that do have the ability to pay. Mm -hmm. So we're able to then help, and because this all comes back in a machine-readable output, you can start to set settlement strategies, call strategies, all your different strategies can be automated for, with our scoring. Okay, so from what you're saying is basically uh, collection agencies, debt buyers, law firms can take full packages of accounts or entire portfolios, bounce it against TransUnion, prioritize where they want to spend their effort, where are we going to make phone calls, where are we going to send digital communications, and which accounts are we ultimately just going to not focus on because the expense of focusing on those accounts is greater than any return you could be expected to get. And so you're taking all of these different data sources that TransUnion has access to, compiling those, then using data science to basically create these scoring algorithms that we're bouncing the portfolios off and then prioritizing prioritizing our work efforts. Does that sound about right? That is absolutely perfect. And if you think about debt buyers, so once you understand how the scoring works and how each score band liquidates, mm -hmm. you know, we have a product called portfolio evaluation for debt buyers. So before you actually make that purchase, score it 
then and apply your liquid, see exactly how liquid that potential portfolio is. We have contingency agencies that actually will run that maybe on new clients. Maybe they, they uh, take a new client and the new client says, hey, this is fresh paper, never been worked. I want you to be the first to work it. Score it, see how liquid it is and see what the potential before you onboard that client and go through all that expense. So there's a lot of different things you can do there. One other thing that we do do along with the scoring, Adam, is we offer what we call credit attributes. Mm -hmm. And credit attributes are um, the, those summary data, things like total open buying credit card. Who has a mortgage? Are they past due on their mortgage? How many months do they have remaining on their car note? How much are they paying on their car note? Mm -hmm. And do they have a home equity line of credit? There's a couple hundred of these that we make available along with our scoring solution. So what that then does is gives the consumer the ability to um, find, help the consumer find ways for them to solve their problem. You know, like, do they have a home equity line of credit? Maybe you ask for it. Do they have a, do they have open to buy a credit card? You can certainly ask for that. It just opens up the way for um, you to help the consumer solve their, their delinquent issue. And it does help with, again, with the collection of law firms, help identify a potential suite of, um, of, of um, accounts that are available for suit. Well, you're, you're injecting creativity. So if I'm understanding, you basically have this capability of not only going with the pre-canned kind of scoring and packaging, but also taking things to a very different level through the capability of uh, basically pulling these individual data attributes and then building your own models internally based on the data sets that TransUnion has already compiled and made available to you. It sounds like you guys are doing some really creative and interesting things when it comes to data analytics, prediction, and helping organizations to become more efficient by becoming more intelligent, which I think is an incredible approach to the collections industry. Jeffrey, I really want to thank you for coming on today and having this quick chat with me. I learned a little bit about some of the additional tools that are available from TransUnion and looking forward to learning more in the near future. For those of you that are watching, if you have additional questions that you'd like to ask Jeffrey, you can leave those in the comments below on LinkedIn and YouTube, and we'll both be responding to those um, as you place them. Um, if you have additional topics that you'd like to see us discuss, you can leave those in the comments below as well, and maybe I can convince Jeffrey to come back on here again at some point and have another chat with me. But until next time, Jeffrey, thank you so much for coming on, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate the opportunity.